Hello and welcome to week 7. Uh, this week we've been talking about extending the capabilities of Visual Basic. We saw that it is possible not only to store information into variables as we've been doing throughout the class, but also write data to text documents to be saved or printed. Text documents can be formatted to create reports uh, that present the data in a useful, easy to read format. But if we need deeper uh, control of the data or the sheer volume uh, could be difficult when just using a text file, what uh, could we use? A database management system or database or DBMS, sorry, is a software that is built to allow such retrieval and storage. It acts as a kind of middleman between the application written in Visual Basic or other comparable language and the physical layer where the data is stored. The database management system takes the instructions written to, to, into the application and implements them and returns the result back to the application. You can think of a database as a series of one or more tables. You know, I've got a simple table here as an example uh, that would group information together. Here I have three categories uh, or fields, uh, ID, first name, last name. As we saw in arrays, uh, the first position or column holds a important role. It's called a primary key and that means that it holds the unique identifier that cannot be duplicated in any other table. Uh, when Visual Basic reads a database it copies values from the table as program variables. You can look at the table on uh, the textbook. Uh, table 10.3 compares the SQL types with the Visual Basic types and by now you should be familiar enough to recognize the similarities. Uh, in Visual Basic Studio you have the a wizard that helps to select the data source. You can uh, actually drag the data source table into a form and add components that way. If you look at um, your server explorer you'll notice that there are several options, one of which is servers. Under there you will see your own computer. And from there you can uh, look at different services that might be available within your computer. You can also go to Tools and choose Connect to Database. I'm not going to do it, but I'll walk you through it. You can choose the type and then select the actual database. If you're familiar with SQL, you know it stands for Structured Query Language and is a widely used uh, language that is integrated into the majority of database management systems. Using SQL queries, um, they can be uh, structure to make inquiries into the database and return results. And that uh, is also a component in the uh, Solution Explorer when you right click add item, you have to right click on the project name, add new item. And if you scroll down You can choose like a service-based database or SQL classes. So it is widely integrated. Oh, cancel. Uh, again, you can look at uh, a table on Section 5, Chapter 10, and see some of the SQL uh, keyword options. And as an introductory course, we're not going to delve too deeply into database management systems or SQL, but it is important to understand how they extend the capabilities of a Visual Basic application. 
to help Steve streamline tasks and handle large volumes of data. Um, and that's all today. Um, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the capabilities. And have a great week.